A reading from the prophet Jonah. But the Lord sent a large fish that swallowed Jonah, and he remained in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. From the belly of the fish, Jonah said to this, said this prayer to the Lord his God. Out of my distress I called to the Lord, and he answered me. From the midst of the netherworld I cried for help, and you heard my voice. For you cast me into the deep, into the heart of the sea, and the flood enveloped me. All your breakers and your billows passed over me. Then I said, I am banished from your sight, yet would I again look upon your holy temple. The waters swirled about me, threatening my life. The abyss enveloped me. Seaweed clung about my head. Down I went to the roots of the mountain. The bars of the netherworld were closing behind me forever. But you brought me my life up from the pit. O Lord, my God, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord. My prayer reached you in your holy temple. Those who worship vain idols forsake their source of mercy. But I, with resounding praise, will sacrifice to you. What I have vowed I will pay. Deliverance is from the Lord. Then the Lord commanded the fish to spew Jonah upon the shore. A reading from the second letter of Peter, chapter 3, verse 1 through 18. This is now, beloved, the second letter I am writing to you. Through them, by way of reminder, I am trying to stir up your sincere disposition to recall the words previously spoken by the holy prophets and the commandment of the Lord and Savior through your apostles. Know this, first of all, that in the last days, scoffers will come to scoff, living according to their own desires and saying, where is the promise of his coming? From the time when our ancestors fell asleep, everything has remained as it was from the beginning of creation. They deliberately ignore the fact that the heavens existed of old and earth was formed out of water and through water by the word of God. Through these, the world that the hen existed was destroyed, deluged with water. The present heavens and earth have been reserved by the same word for fire, kept for the day of judgment and of destruction of the godless. But do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years and a thousand years like one day. The Lord does not delay his promise as some regard delay, but he is patient with you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a mighty roar and the elements will be dissolved by fire, and the earth and everything done on it will be found out. Since everything is to be dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you to be conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire? But according to his promise, we await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to be found without spot or blemish before him at peace. And consider the patience of our Lord as salvation, as our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, also wrote to you, speaking of these things as he does in all his letters. In them there are some things hard to understand that the ignorant and unstable distort to their own destruction, just as they do the other scriptures. Therefore, beloved, since you are forewarned, be on your guard not to be led into the error of the unprincipled and to fall from your own stability, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to him be glory, 
now and to the day of eternity. Amen. In our first reading, we hear from the book of Jonah. Jonah was a prophet sent to Nineveh to preach their destruction. Jonah was afraid to preach in Nineveh and ran in the opposite direction. He hid on a ship in the depth of the ship And in the middle of the night, there was a great storm. And Jonah recognized that the storm was because of him. And so he instructed those who were with him to throw him overboard. Jonah was thrown overboard and sunk into the depths of the sea, and the storm stopped. And a great sea creature, possibly a a whale or a large fish, swallowed him. And for three days, he was in the belly of the fish. This fish then spit him out after three days, right near Nineveh. In the story of Jonah, we see a man who dies for three days, whether it's a literal or a figurative death. And that after this death, he proclaims the news of God, the gospel of repentance, and the people repent. Jesus says to the Pharisees, you ask for a sign, but no sign will be given you except the sign of Jonah. This sign is that Jesus died and was in the grave until the third day at which he rose. And at his resurrection, you have the conversion of the nations because of his resurrection. In 2 Peter chapter 3, we hear a few things. The first is people doubting because Jesus had not returned. They were doubting because they expected that he would come quickly. They were doubting because they were seeing turmoil in the world and saying, how come there is turmoil, but there is no salvation? And Peter says, for God, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. So he tells them to be patient, that like we hear so often in the Psalms, we must wait upon the Lord. Then he goes on to say that there are parts of Paul which are hard to interpret, which, like other parts of Scripture, people have trouble interpreting. This is the first time we hear Paul referred to as Scripture. And this is also tells us about the warning, just as we see in the temptation of Jesus. The warning of how the devil can try to interpret scripture just like Jesus and his church do. But that when the devil or when distorters try to interpret scripture, they lead people to error. 